any thing that led you to stay out of religion? Is there anything that happened to you? Um, I think there is something in Christianity specifically about um, lambasting people, people for the way that they live and their kind of institutionalized religion, you know, that your faith is not a private thing, it is a demonstrable, you know, you have to act in these particular ways to show that you are a believer or, that you, you know, yeah. um, and that, I don't know, it just, it didn't sit with me particularly, mm. I think, yeah. faith is between me and God or whoever right. is up there. Yeah, so I think the most of the Christian, when I spoke to them, and I, I find this thing that they say, I didn't really connect with the creator that has been introduced to me. So, in order to define the creator, when you define creator as a human being and part of the creation, then often you have this trouble reconciling the true concept of God. Uh -huh. Does it make sense? The true concept of God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, interesting. Tell me more about that. So basically what I'm saying is every human being knows deep down there is a maker. Uh -huh. No one can deny that. Okay. And that is a built-in information. Uh -huh. It does not need an extra software to build. So, yeah, totally. So, to right. And Islam, we call it fitrah. Uh -huh. Means innate disposition. Okay. Means every soul was created with that knowledge there is a higher being. Mm -hmm. And then you submit to that higher being. Mm -hmm. And that is the true sense of connection, yeah. I would say. Now, the moment you add to that create concept of creator with something else, yeah. that human might get uh, confused. So, now, it's like a meta level. Yeah, yeah, so let me give you an example. Yeah. yeah, so whenever we define that being uh -huh. with the creator, the name is called Allah. Uh -huh. And that Allah defined himself, he is all powerful, uh -huh. all knowing. Yeah. All seeing, yeah. all hearing, yeah. and everywhere. Uh, he no, he's not everywhere. No, no, his knowledge is everywhere. He's not oh. physically everywhere. Okay, interesting. But so that is if, we, if you say, yeah. yeah. So, I we, we don't believe that God is uh, imperfect. Mm -hmm. So God can't be perfect and imperfect at the same time. God God is always perfect. If mm -hmm. now imagine if someone say. God is imperfect and perfect at the same time. Mm -hmm. I would say that's not the nature of God. By contradiction. It is. Because, mm -hmm. like, can you say a married bachelor? Does it make sense? <laughs> okay. Does it make sense? <laughs> no. Well, no, sure. So, same so, way, like, yeah, you know, okay. so the Creator is all perfect. So, yeah. suddenly, he can he chose to be imperfect or can he do by imperfection? He can. But this will not go against his. This will go against his nature. Right. So, so, so. so therefore, what we say, the uh, the manifestation of God yeah. through human being doesn't yeah. make sense, because the moment God become a man, that means God come from the perfect realm to imperfect realm. Yeah. Why would he? Why would he? Exactly. Yeah. So so therefore, it doesn't make sense. Right. Then we go back to the original nature of human being, that knowing there is one maker, yeah. which is all-knowing, all-powerful, and all-seeing. Yeah. So therefore, if you believe in that, then you can't say God is everywhere. Does it okay. make sense? It, it's paradoxical. It's logical. It's logical. Yeah. It's logical. Sure. And then, then if Creator created the universe, then everything has purpose in it. Collectively, we will have a purpose. Okay. Because the Creator defined him as Al-Hakim, means the all-wise. Uh -huh. So that is one of the attributes of the Creator. Right. So if the Creator is all-wise, uh -huh. so do you do the all-wise entity create something that is no purposeful? It doesn't make sense. Do you, does the Creator create every being? Every being, yes. Not so, just like the beginning no, and everything no, goes out from there. No, e so for example, every single person yeah, is every, a result of the yeah. creator. And the creator has a, a different way of creating things. Uh -huh. One way is create from nothingness. Yeah. And another form is creation from creation. Yeah. Like for example, God created the first man, Adam, yeah. from out of father and mother. Uh -huh. Now he created through my parents. 
but my parents didn't give birth to us. They are the median and means that we come into the world. Okay. Uh -huh. That shows that creator's ability that he can create from human to hum mm. human and out of nothing as well. Mm. So the both possibility has been fulfilled. And then again, if you look at Adam, then yeah. Eve was created without a woman. Uh -huh. Then the only possibility left, can God create a man without a father? Who can that be? And God has fulfilled that as well. Je Jesus. Is Jesus the father of Adam? No, no, no. Jesus is a, a, we believe in Islam, he's a prophet and messenger of God. Right, right, right. So, if you look at the creation, they all of them, they have the same mission. Same mission, okay, yeah. Right? Yeah. They all have the same mission. Yeah. They came to different times, different people. Mm. But the message is same, the mission are the same. Mm. They never tell people to worship them, but they said worship God alone. Yeah. And now imagine if someone come to uh, to you and tell, I am a messenger of God. Yeah. Firstly, you would say, okay, show me your miracle that you I need to believe. So? Yeah, that's so the proof. Yes, of so course. The... <laughs> uh, but what? Mm. Because without proof, someone can be lying. Sure. And if the God is all powerful, do you think He will not give an example of His glory and power to His? Well, why is it necessary? Because without that, how can you know that He's speaking the truth? Can we just have faith in one another? Sorry, say again. Can, can we believe in one another? Like, what? What is the purpose of skepticism? What is the purpose of uh, distrusting someone's testimony? Because God knows how he created us and uh -huh. often human beings go, go against the nature of how God wanted to. For example, yeah. God tell us, don't lie, don't cheat. He embedded that knowledge, original goodness within us. Oh, but right? so many people lie and cheat. Right. Therefore, we need a guidance. Why? Right? So that it can externally, you need a governance. Because as a human being, intrinsically, there are goodness us. So God has created the free will within us. So you can either choose to be good, choose to be bad. Now the one who will exercise the goodness option, yeah. the God said, I, I kept you paradise for you. And the one who will exercise the other option, yeah. which is opposite to the goodness. And this, in your mind, is this um, reward or incentive? Yes. You know, because there's a difference yeah. between Yeah, so, so basically the simple thing is, that is heaven and hell, yeah. just like good and bad. Yeah. The way good and bad cannot be equal, right and wrong cannot be equal, yeah. just like heaven and hell not be equal. Sure. The one who do good and the one who do bad, they're not equal. Yeah. The one who believe and do good and the one who disbelieve and do heinous crime, they're not same. Yeah. So Allah is saying, Creator is reminding us, do you think I will do injustice to my servant? Sure. Right? Everything is making sense about Islam. As far as individual choices yeah. go, do you think this this idea of salvation or like the, the of heaven and hell yeah. or, or the promised lands are not, do you think this is a motivator to do good or ill or do you think it is it is not about incentive, it's about reward? Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like psychologically speaking. Yeah, so for example, the creator created us for a purpose. Uh -huh. And that purpose has been communicated through messenger. Mm -hmm. And the messenger came in. I'm answering your question, but yeah, yeah. It, it requires an additional information sure, so that sure. you will, you will sure. understand. So that creator tell us the purpose. Creator is not coming to us to tell us the purpose. Yeah. So he chose us a human being sure. over any other creation. Yeah. And then human being comes and show us what is the purpose, exemplify through the character and the show that the, how to follow the God command, uh -huh. what he wants, the purpose of your life. And God said, your purpose is to test you. God said, I have created you to test you. Mm -hmm. And the test is in between a time frame of death and life. Mm -hmm. So one point we are dead, means non-existent, yeah. and then we will die. Yeah. So within that frame, time frame, the test period is. Uh -huh. And the one who will acknowledge this life and the bounty, 
and the grace of God and do the work that God has commanded and follow the prohibition that God has told us yeah. then he will attain the mercy and this mercy is the this will uh, the God's mercy will lead you to the salvation means the heaven and hell yeah. now contrary to this this is the Islamic concept yeah. you have other concept that someone has to die for your sin right. which is injustice because imagine yeah. if I Let's say all of them are sinners, like 10 people here. Yeah. And I wanted to kill you to forgive all this. And you are not a sinner. Right. Yeah, now, you can say, right. you can label okay. as this is a mercy, but where is the justice? Oh, yeah. So, oh, therefore, so, exactly. Yeah. So, the concept of the true concept of Allah saying, uh, you know, you, we often, in every Friday, in the sermon, mm -hmm. uh, Imam say to uh, the audience, Inna Allah ya'mur bil adli wal ihsan. That God cons instruct you, yeah. do justice and uh, and ihsan, do kindness, show gratitude okay. to help one another. Yeah. Uh, and stay away from the fawahish, the things that Allah displeased. Okay. Lying, cheating, yeah, 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 yeah. killing, you know, all these things that will be detrimental, damaging. Mm -hmm. So... Every yeah. time we pray, we connect with the God yeah. and ask God to help us in, to stay on the correct path. Uh -huh. Why? Because when God created the human being, He is testing us. So when God said, I am testing you, yeah. that means that deception also there. Uh -huh. And that deception... A way to yes. fail tests. Yeah. One thing confirmed that the devil is there everywhere. Yeah. You can see people's action are devil. And devil, uh, uh, you know, always uh, tells you in the back of your mind, you know, don't want to do that, don't do this. Have, you know, even as a Muslim, when come to prayer time, yeah. you know, devil give waswasa. You know, it tells you sleep. You know, you can wake up and read the prayer later on. Oh, okay. Right? So, yeah. It so. doesn't control you, but it give you this waswasa yeah. means something. What's the right word for English? Temptation, yeah, right? Exactly, temptation. exactly. I was looking for that word. <laughs> yeah. So, so that, so the Creator created this life as a test. Yeah. And then He tells us, send us the guidance. Uh -huh. Why? This is a, this is a billion dollar question, not million dollar. Okay. Can you hold it just for yeah. a second? Yes. Let me, let me check that my friend is okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, hi. Go. Hi. Hi, my name is Aziz. Yeah. Islam. Do you know much about Islam? Or? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'm sharing with her. So I said I'm going to give her a billion dollar question, not a million dollar. Huge. So, my question was uh, whether heaven and hell are intended for Yeah. So this is the last destination, okay. basically. So the life is a test, and then whoever passed the test who goes to the paradise. And whoever failed it, they goes to the fire, right? This is the simple. But it's not that simple how I said it, right? Because God's grace and mercy in middle, right? So someone, let's say someone um, prayed and fasted all his life. Because of that, he can't go to paradise. Because it, it cannot repay even the one eyesight blessing that... Let's say you put one eyesight in one scale and all of your lives worship in another scale the eye will be outweighing the scale of your deeds so therefore what eye? What eye are you any eye the eye the god given the eyesight how come it outweighs all your deeds because that thing if i give you billion dollar and i say i will give you billion dollar now i want to two of your eyes would you give me? No. Now that's your answer. Should we get going? Okay. That's your answer. Did you, did you realize that? That's your answer. Now, imagine that blessing because we didn't grow that eyesight. We didn't create the eyesight. We didn't own the eyesight. It was given free. Where is the payment? The payment is to... There is a payment. We don't give payments for this. We give payment for everything. He will give you a drink, maybe you will say thank you. But the things we hold within ourselves free, 
we have not given it. And that's what Allah said, one of the verses in the Quran, very striking that he said, Wa ma haqqa qadrihi, that majority people do not give rights to the God. And Allah said, another verse, فَقَلِيلًا مِنْ عِبَادِيَ shakur. Very handful of people are truly grateful. Means you can be grateful to the human being, but when it comes to the your you as a human being and the things that are given to you, you are unaware of gratitude. And Islam not only fix that gratitude, it's also fixed the direction of gratitude. Like for example, if you give a worship to a human being, that you are directing the worship to a human rather than the source of. And that's why one of the amazing verse in the Quran, it said, do not worship sun nor the moon, but the one who created both. I think that's a great note to finish this on. Thank you so much. And so this is, shall I give you a copy of the Quran? Or? No, no, this is good. Yeah, yeah. look Thank after you yourself. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Have a lovely day. Bye. Bye. Oh, Alhamdulillah, I have a, a conversation with this lady. Um, uh, I hope she taken uh, the message of Islam. Alhamdulillah, she looks sincere and uh, uh, may Allah guide her to the truth. Um, we all make dua that may Allah show her the, uh, the guidance. And she looks very sincere and I hope this message will be a positive note for her. May Allah accept our da'wah and, and may Allah guide her to the truth. Assalamu alaikum.